go. Hey, everyone. Hello. Welcome back to another episode of God of War. We are your hosts, Jude, Gear, and Vagabond. <laughs> As usual. And indeed, the usual. <laughs> what, what, I forget what we were doing again. We were supposed to get through the other way just to get out, but we're pretty much around here. All right, we got stuck. Boom. Yeah, completely stuck. And if we're trying to figure out a way how to get through to this, I will look up the guide as much as I could. But since we're playing the game, we might as well enjoy it. it so you do know what to do this time since you checked the guide, so... Mm. Actually, I haven't exactly looked. I mean, I was supposed to and all, but I think I got a few ideas. I mean, so, you did, you say, so what you're saying is you didn't look at the guide. Yeah, and you I, have an idea. yeah, I didn't, but I think I might be able to figure this out if I look carefully. Okay, guys, in this episode, we're just going to solve this one puzzle. I'll, I'll wait. This doesn't take a whole part, but okay, let's just go on. <laughs> let's, be, let's go on. All right, let's see. The first thing we have right here is this removing, no, actually moving thing with the X. So if we were to tap into this thing here, but the Y, let's see, need to snap the rope, and that's why it's stuck. Okay, so it's a Rube Goldberg machine. Yeah, and in order to snap the rope, we need to figure a way how to get up there. I mean, if I throw an axe up, it would be able to work, but let's see if there's some other mechanisms. First, we'll test to see if this axe can be able to throw it. Nope. Doesn't seem like it would hey, do much. Hey, you throw something up there that's on fire. Hmm. Well, let's see. Something that's on fire, right? Yeah. Hmm. Alright. Perhaps throwing... An arrow added. Nope. Or can you just climb up that broken piece of rock? Let me see if I could try. Doesn't look like it. In fact, if there's a way to get... Hold on. This is supposed to be the god of war, not the guy who can't climb simple rocks. Yeah, I know. This guy has killed Zeus for crying out loud. Come on, you can handle a few climbing a few rocks. Mere pebbles. If I look around, I might be able to figure something. It may be about... Hold on. This door right here. Doesn't this look familiar to you guys? Mm, no. Not really. Okay. It's a door with a mirror. Let's see. Nope, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Hold on. Could it be just through this way? Unless, of course. Hey, Mr. Dorp upgrade our stuff so we can solve puzzles, please. If he has the general idea, I think he might help us out. Does he give us hints like saying, Your princess is another castle? Yeah, something like that. Hmm. If we're in this cave, and the last time I checked, I did rely on the guy before. However, I think it might be another solution I could think of. Maybe if I worked on this thing, it would help. Can't grab this thing, no. We're pretty much right around here. Wait a minute. Oh, 
Oh, spanked a bit. Oh, I get it. So that's how. Uh, oh, yeah, Ju Justin, I have been testing, like, the PS5's um, recording function on mine. Yeah? Uh, it looked really well. I got it to go at least to, uh, like, 4K footage, so... Who you knows, maybe I can record footage and we can report, report it on post-commentary on it. That's a good idea. And that was a good idea to test it out, too. Yeah. I've been testing it on Persona Dancing All Night, and I have finally mastered it. I have finally got my first King Crazy, which took five hours! That was a lot. Oh, you play the dancing games? <laughs> I I I bought it for twenty seven dollars. I at least gotta play some of them. Uh, wait, hold on. Which one was it? You said you said dancing all night. Are you talking about? Uh, hmm, that's sorry. The, Are you talking about the fourth one? one? Yeah, yeah, that's the fourth. Four. That's the persona four one. Mm, okay. Congratulations, dude. Yay! Now I gotta play through through Star Night and Moon Knight. Like, good thing for those games is there's no story about murder in <laughs> those games. It's just dancing. That's all there is. Yeah, it's just like some sort of a dance off between Persona Three and Five. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I as much as I was kind of questioning why he added a murder case in the Persona Four dancing, I at least was invested in it for the most part. Like, ooh, okay. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Still solid game. Four dancing was probably the best of the three. Yeah, least it's in my definitely opinion. the best of the three. Um, the problem I have with three and four is like if you want to get some of the outfits that you want, or at least mess up some of the characters a bit, you mm -hmm. have to go through certain requirements. Like you got to get a certain amount of points, do a certain amount of dances, get a couple of perfects and stuff like that to get their social yep. links, and then you can interact slash um, customize the characters which kind of oh, sucks before allowed you to do that off the gate you just needed to get more points hmm. yeah. well that's good to know and I think I yeah. figured out the puzzle here oh what did you have to do it was rather simple you noticed those Spike things I went through the trap and all that the ones I yeah. gone over it. Well, that was the key So the oh. least I did was able to go through the path by taking the trap doors out of the way and Be able to cut then be able to move the card after it was being chained and When that was taken care of I went up and here I am now Thanks At the free. I see, finally did it. Yeah, figured it out without the guide this time. Hooray! And it's only been eight minutes. That's perfectly fine. It's a good record, anyway. Yeah. Okay, Wait. guys, it's been another episode of uh, Super God of War. Uh, I hope you guys it's really, really super, super amazing, fun time, guys. I really hope you, uh, really hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Leave a like and subscribe. Bye. Mm -hmm. Look at this guy! Also, this, also this part's probably by, like, Raid Shadow Legends! Raid Shadow Legends, y'all! No, 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 wait, no, wait. They, they, they wouldn't do the sponsorship at the end of the video. They, they do it, like, either at the beginning or somewhere in the middle. Like, I know I'm something, 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 and I'm gonna show you about Raid Shadow Legends, the game, on a mobile. Go play it! Incidentally, Jeff Setta guy is also an Irishman. He's also uh, an Irish the Hedgehog. Ah, yes. I did not know that. I got I got recommended that video the other day. I didn't oh, click on it or anything, but I was like, I was recommended that this video one day. Is like, I have I haven't even I haven't touched a Sonic game in like two years. <laughs> why am I re why am I suddenly recommended? I I Irish the Hedgehog. Irish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's not canon. <laughs> no, he's not. And if no. he were, he would have been in the series already. Then again, there is this Canadian song, The Hedgehog Show, coming out. So, who knows? Maybe Irish The Hedgehog might be real.
Wait, are you talking about are you talking about Sonic Prime? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here's hoping that here's hoping that Sonic show is good. Probably is. Here's hoping to it. Yeah, so it's Sonic's 30th anniversary. Um, usually he usually he messes something up here around the anniversary time. Uh, but hopefully I, not, because we did get Mania. You know, so. I mean, yeah, we got Mania, but that wasn't developed by Sonic Team. Oh, that that's true. That was, made by okay. actual Sonic fans. That was that was like the only that was like the only good thing that came out of the 25th anniversary. Uh, whereas whereas we also got uh, somewhat poor a somewhat poor show that show or, or not, not 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 a show. Yeah, I'm, I'm not talking about it was a show and a game. I'm talking about the yeah. presentation that that came in like E3 or something. Um, it was forces, yeah. Did, well, no, no, not uh, it, it showcased. Mania and Forces and like some Sonic Boom stuff. It was like it was like this disaster of a program or it was this disaster of a of a live stream that happened at uh at that. I believe it was I think it was E3. Let me look at a Sonic 25th anniversary stream. Yeah. So yeah, I, I wasn't messing anything up. But yeah, it was it was an utter freaking shit show. The 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 live stream especially. Oh, like no. the, the audio was freaking gone. They prematurely showed some of the Sonic Mania trailer to to the live streamers. Um, There's like this weird buzzing noise that was going on for like half of it. And this was at this was at like a this was at like a a professional music venue that I think may have done live streams in the past. Uh, uh, don't quote me on that part, but it's done live streams. Well, it's like a professional music venue. Oh my god! So, I, I, I think where did where did they do that? I think they did it. I read somewhere that they did it at the House of Blues. The House which, of Blues. Yeah, if, if I recall, the House of Blues is a very iconic venue. Let me make sure it's. I, I'm at least not. I'm not making stuff up. No, you're not. Let me Mm, okay, American chain of live music concert halls and restaurants. Okay, so this is like this is this is this is part of a chain of of concert halls. Okay, never mind that. Uh, but um, yeah, that live stream was absolute absolute uh, doggy doo doo. I guess you could say. Yeah. Uh, so speaking of Sonic, um, there has been rumors going around that um, Ryuji might be voicing Sonic. Oh. Ryuji, wait. Are you talking about the guy who voices or the the, the guy who voices Ryuji? Yeah. Yes. Max mm. Milton. Interesting. It's a uh, noise. I think, I, think, I, think follow, I think it can work. He, he did follow the Sonic Twitter page not too long ago. Yeah, and it's a possibility he might be his voice as Sonic in the new Sonic Prime or even in the new games. Who knows? I'm guessing it's most likely the games. I don't know about Prime, though, because that's a weird relationship because it's made by a Canadian studio and there's, like, weird union laws with that. What's, what, what are the weird union laws? About? I, I don't know. It's something about when voice actors do, like, certain unions. Like, they only do certain things, like, in America or in Canada, I think. Don't quote me on that, but... I've never heard of anything like that. No, um, it's kind of the reason why you don't see Ryan Drummond do much. I don't know. I'm not sure who he is. Um, he was a voice of Sonic in Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's it. They, they, they got the, um, the guy, the, like the four kids guy to do yeah. uh, Sonic after the, after Ryan. Okay. Jason, um, right? Jason Griffith. Yep. That's the guy. He also voices Tom for Major Tom and Chaotic. But basically, no, I've never heard of Chaotic. Oh, it, it, um, it was a card game that you can pl that you can play online. It started that trend. Wait, way back I think two thousand like twenty nine or two thousand eight, something like that. Chaotic. Wait, is uh, do you just spell it like normally Chaotic, or is it like yeah, just C H A O. Oh, 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 I remember this show. Wait, you do? I remember this. I barely played it, but uh, yeah, it's 
Tom Majors learns his video game remote control scanner is actually a portal to transport him to an online game. Started in 2006. Yeah. Oh, that, was, that was a couple of years off. It ended in 2010. Wow, it's already been over 10 years. It has been a long time. And to top it all off, I even heard that Keonic is going to get a reboot and take off where I last left off. The Son of the Spirit okay. Lands. Like the revival yeah. with Samurai Jack, but different. Yeah. I, I was that, rereading um, Stone's Finest Hour during my job, and right. then I left a bookmark in there, and apparently it was one of my old chaotic cards stuck, stuck in between the pages. Hmm. Yeah, uh, it's just different for Samurai Jack and all that stuff. Uh, that's not the yeah. point. The point is, was about chaotic, was really good creature game that you play your creatures, and in the animated series, you become one of those creatures after having a chaotic match, or before that. It came out the right place, but the wrong studio got the wrong hand in the wrong hands. That's the problem. Poor Kids was not the best studio to take hold of the series. No, it was not. At the very least, it left off a good impression before it ended. Like, there, there's still a fan base, and there's still people playing the card game online. What, yeah. the website's still active or something? Yeah, it's still active. Really? Yeah, let me make sure. I'm not... Making stuff up. Let's see here. Chaotic.com. Or oh, they just had to put Chaotic Card Game. Huh. Look at this. What is. Um, okay. Thank you for your incredible loyalty, enthusiasm, and support for Chaotic. We have enjoyed your friendship and participated. The site is currently closed. Take care. Oh, well, well, crud. <coughs> There it goes anyway. I mean, they, pro they probably have it archived if they really want to play. Probably if you go really want to play chaotic, they probably get it back. Yes, if they would. <sighs> well, anyway, um, but yeah, what were you saying about about Sonic? Yeah, uh, so yeah, and then Jason, I guess, replacing myself. Yeah, that oh. Casey Griffin was on the Four Kids actor, and then we got Roger Craig Smith around like when Sonic Colors came out. Oh yeah, and then uh, uh, then I was talking, about, and then you were talking about the labor or the the union laws in Canada and how there's a possibility the currently the the new voice of Sonic is going uh, might not be the voice for Sonic Prime. Yeah, because because from what I hear, um, I hear um, the voice of Eggman said he wasn't going to do the TV show. He wasn't. No, he he wasn't called to do it. Really? Yeah. He he was all he only he made a tweet about it. He said he's only doing the games. He said he's doing nothing about the Sonic Prime show though. Oh. Huh. Hmm. Yeah. If there's gonna be a different actor who plays as Ankman, there's a possibility. I mean, the original voice actor who plays as him have been doing this for quite a long time. Yeah, yes, um, he's he's probably one of the uh, probably probably the perfect voice for perfect English voice for Eggman. Yes. Um and he originally, he, Eggman was voiced by um, Dean Bristow, who voiced him through Sonic Adventure 1, all the way up to um, Heroes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I remember, I remember his voice in Sonic Hero. All systems! Full power! Yeah, it was very yeah. much that. I, I, in fact, I don't think they've ever had a bad uh, Eggman voice actor in Sonic, have they? No, they, it's always been pretty consistent. Yeah, here's hoping. Here's hoping if Eggman shows up in Sonic Prime, that that they continue that and, and get some some a, a good Eggman impression and, and a, a good Eggman voice actor or Who good knows, voice actor. Right now. Someone that sounds like um, Dean Bristol to voice him, like this really gruff voice. Either Dean Bristol or Mike Pollock. But then again, those guys are are, are given off very similar. Very similar kind of thing, or they got very similar things going for them. Yeah. Oh, well, let's see here. Um, well, we know who's Nando's going to be voiced by. He's going to be um, voiced by Aquaman. We already talked about that before. For the Sonic film. Yeah, yes. you mentioned that. Yes. Still no, still no confirmation for Tails as VAF. Yeah. What happened to the um? I was like, what happened to the current voice uh, voice actress? Was, uh, remember they 
uh, it was original voice for the games, and then they do this whole voice actor switched up thing. And I don't know if it counts for the movie or not. Oh, I thought you. I thought you were talking about for the show. Uh, no. Well, she said she wasn't doing the show either. Oh. We have no idea who's doing the who's doing the movie. Well, here's hoping they here's hoping they keep the movie thing consistent as as the, the last voice. Well, well, they're still keeping um his original voice actor from the movie. Um, it's still still going to be um. Not, oh yeah, Ben Schwartz. Almost his name almost skipped my mind. <laughs> Wait, I thought we were talking about Tails' voice actor. Tails' voice actor. Yeah, I'm, I'm I thought, I thought that you, his, his, you mentioned they did the whole switcheroo thing, and we have no idea who Tails' Tails' VA is going to be. Yeah, because they never really confirmed it. Or she might be on FDA, so she can't talk about it yet until like the first trailer drops. So ah, yeah. you know. in that case, that makes complete sense. FDAs are like uh, FDAs are very important. Yeah. That doesn't stop certain YouTubers so straight up uploading videos early. They got the game early. So like, uh, are you talking about? Who are you talking about? Uh, I know. I like, think I feel like you know, I know you who you're talking about. You get excited about. for a game, you try not to get spoiled, and then like some YouTube, some YouTubers online get the game early, and then they post the parts like a day or two before the game's out. So this isn't a specific person. Is this yeah. a specific user? No, no, it's just a couple. Especially when Strikers came out, I got a bit spoiled halfway in the beginning. Oh yeah, there was this one YouTuber who who, who basically uh, released the who released all a bunch of videos for the entire game like a while before it actually came out. And they, apparently they got it. Uh, apparently, don't quote me on this either. But I heard that. They got the. I heard that they got the. Uh, they didn't really get the copy legitimately, which I'm not really sure how that would work. Wait, how did they so, get get that then? I, I have no idea. If 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 some if that part's true, then I have absolutely no idea how 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 that would have happened. But yeah, they. Um, but yeah, uh, it was kind of a shame too because they were actually a pretty good, pretty good. Uh, pretty, pretty, they, they made some pretty good videos. On, uh, on some of the, the cut content of Persona 5 and stuff. But, you know, Atlas threw the band hammer on him. Well, that, at least they did that, though. So that's not too big of a deal. Yeah, but I already knew about the whole Steffi mixed Steffi Alice thing that was going on. Like, oh, I, I, this would have been cool if I played the game first and experienced it myself, you know. But thanks, YouTube recommendations. Yeah, they did do something about that. Yeah, yeah it's it, 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 it's not a, exactly a, a great feeling when you're minding your own business, a very highly anticipated video game you wanna you wanna play is is that is, is coming out tomorrow. Someone got a review copy, then randomly out of nowhere you see a video with the thumbnail titled "Main Character Dies in Game X." That is really. And you're like, oh my god. Yeah. So like, I, I get, I get. It. You guys want views, but can you at least save it until the game officially releases? First. Hmm. Well, some people just don't want to wait. They rather do whatever the hell they want they... and ended up getting themselves, getting other people spoiled for that. Because they want to get the earlier views because they know, oh, like, oh, okay, I want to see how this game is, so they get the views earlier. Like the early bird. Yeah. Yeah, there are, there are some people who deliberately seek out, the, uh, who, de who deliberately go out of the way to look for spoilers. That way, they either, one, they uh, they look, know what they, or know what they're looking forward to, or, um, or, or, or in my case, uh, I usually like to look for spo or look for spoilers in videos, uh, so that way I can't be spoiled. You can't be—I mean, after all, because you can't be spoiled if you 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 deliberately seek this stuff out, can you? Mm. That's that's true. Like, if you're only looking for gameplay, then you should be just fine. Just be careful of what you get. Yeah, just the uh, YouTube um, recommendations, just kind of goes a little bit overboard and like, oh, you like this one thing? Oh, here's a bunch of things I found for you. 
Yeah. That's one of them. Always got to be careful when it comes to YouTube recommendations about about some games spoiled or some that aren't. Be careful what you get. Yeah, it's got yeah, it sucks that way. Like, uh, well, also, also, like, I I got to the hot spring scene and scrambled. Oh my god, <laughs> we're at it again. That was kidding. Why is the hot spring scenes? I have to cringe. Why do you make me cringe at this? Okay, aim for the head. There. Mm -hmm. I mean, you gotta be careful what kind of scenes you see. I mean, there's some that are children, some that aren't exactly children, depending on which kind of... Wait, wait, wait. Where, is this, where, where are you going with that? Not, not children, not exactly children? Where, 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 are you, where are you going with that, exactly? Basically, what I'm trying to say is that, for example, if a child were to watch Persona games that are infant mature, that's not good for them. Like, you need well, to put a restriction. Well, they should be playing it in the first place. You can say it for mature. I'm just saying Wait, are, are we are we talking about the... Are, 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 are we talking about the... Uh, are we talking about the ESRB ratings and stuff? Something yes. like that, yeah. The range for that. Yeah, just to be on the safe side. Oh, yeah. that uh, The ESRB rating is kind of flawed. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say that it's flawed. Mm -hmm. It's flawed indeed. Eh. Like then again, like when I got scrambled, I had to ask for my ID, even though you know I'm older than I should be. Uh huh. Litter. Indeed, but Arizona games are very good when it comes to amateur games for that. Well, well I think. Like, I guess you could say, say um, like they do have darker themes. I think Persona Five has like more, di more like up oh in your face kind of stuff. Like especially in the beginning, in the game. Yep. Something like that. Well, like if you're sensitive to like you know um. Things that can actually really happen. Yep. Always know exactly what kind of story you're in. Yeah. So uh, anyway, uh, before you got online, Josh, me and Justin were talking about that they're starting to allow pre-orders for um, the Pokemon games now. Yeah. Yeah, you guys texted. You guys te texted this a couple hours before we got on. Yeah. Yes, we did. And there's no bundle edition for it yet. And I don't, I don't really see how how this matter or how this matters. Why not just like, pre order both games? That's that's what I'm planning to do. If there's a bundle then I'll just like like, hey, can I switch all this for the bundle? Like, yeah, whatever, you're right pay for both, so Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, having bundle editions would be great. I mean, you'd be able to have one Switch and the other Switch just to play both different versions of the games and be able to do the trades while you're at it. That is well, that is if you have two Switches. But uh, I, I assume I assume Pokemon Home is going to be compatible compatible with this because, or at least at least it should be, because the same people who developed Pokemon Home are developing this game. Like they're so, actually they're the developers for um, William Diamond and Shiny Pearl. Yes. Oh my God. Okay. Then. Well, it's true mm. anyway. I mean, if they had that compatible with the Sinnoh Region remake games, it is possible. So it, it needs to. Well, I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of Home, honestly, because I don't want to pay for storage for my own Pokemon. Well, see, uh, what you think there's gonna be like a some sort of paywall? Behind some of these, behind some I stuff. Hope, in I hope not. Hope not. Mm. Ah, that's fair enough. Yeah. <sighs> Especially when I'm put, putting money in for both versions, which is like one hundred twenty dollars a piece. Or, or well, one hundred twenty dollars altogether, technically. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. <clears throat> in any which case. 
once the bundle editions comes out, we'll be excited to play the game. And to top it all off, we're hoping that Platinum gets a remake while we're at it. It might take a few years for it. If they if they added all the features that Platinum have, then I don't think we will need one. Uh huh. Oh, look at that! First we see a dragon in Super Mario Odyssey, and now we get another one. This one's more hardcore. Oh. Oh, and died. Ouch. Okay, let me see if I can try this again. This time I might as well kill it. Well, of course, before he kills you. <laughs> now then. Ah, oh, died again. Nintendo. Um, Universal stated that they were going to continue development for um, Nintendo World, and it should be released in uh, 2025. That's just around in four years. That's that. like... That's four wait, more years. Wait, what, what comes out in 2025? Um, the Super Nintendo World for this United States. Oh, okay. So, yeah. That's going to be a bit... Eh, I can wait. Yeah, if, they, if, they are, if they're going to add a Donkey Kong stuff there too, then I don't mind waiting for that. Cut his fingers. I would if I try, but... I need wait, you to... what? He didn't touch you! What? I think it was the damage. The moment that he sinks his claws on there, that's when I get the damage. See? Oh, oh, I see it now. See? Hey, you can't actually hit his fingers. Slice and dice him. Ouch. I believe that is the fourth or fifth time that I died. Yeah. And at least it wasn't like the whole thing that happened with you got Master Xehanort and her by sleep. Great. Do, don't you have healing items? Hello? No green drop. I can't heal. Okay. Mm. Okay, here it is. Uh, we already did that. Hold on. There's got to be a better solution. Upgrades. Yeah, or skills for that matter. Enough coins for that matter, too. Oh, oh, did you um, try out Hyra and Mithra for Smash? How, how they play? Well, I haven't tried it yet. But I might be able to give it a shot. It, it took a while for my game to download them. For some reason, every time a new Smash character comes out, it takes like nearly half the day to download. I'll bet. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's my internet or just my system just taking it very slow, but it takes a while to update. The dang game. Hmm. Yeah, I can see why. Yeah. Ah. I think I was all ah! headed. <clears throat> all right, let me see if I can try to figure this out. Um. Just now, I think that was a little bit of a flash, wasn't it? Yes. Um. Okay, that's easy. Just avoid getting his dirty little fingers on you. Or his mouth. Uh. It doesn't help that he has really long, dangly arms. 
Hold on. The shield. I didn't think that sooner. Come on. Oh, that worked. My shield's ready. Mm hmm. Now we're regaining somewhere. It only took six deaths. Progress. Yeah. Progress indeed. Hey, don't argue with progress. Hmm. This monster is really starting to become a pain. Well, at least we can kill him now. It's just gonna be a while. Oh, yeah. Ow. Or that he's following us right now. Uh oh. Okay, he can climb out of walls. That's that's interesting. It looks like a lizard. Nope, with wings and all that. It's a drag. He's a dragon. All right. Well, so he has a dragon. Something. <laughs> Well, this dragon is going to get a barbecue. Actually, more like I want to kill it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, look, he left us an opening. Cool. More like he's dragging us. I don't think this is over just yet. It did left and all. And it left us a parting gift. A bomb. Um, can we explode him? Well, what do you think? I say yes, exploding. There. One dose of this little thing, and the red vines are down. And I don't think this is the last time we've seen of that dragon. Uh, oh well. I mean, it did just left, but it's not like we want to leave without having a second chance at us. In fact, we did activate it by entering its territory, so most likely it will come back again by having its revenge. I guess dragons get really in a messed up mood. Or that they're aggressive enough that they wanted to mark their own territory and think that they're superior. Yeah. Yeah, apparently, lead. I was watching a video, video like on uh, on the Breath of the Wild. One of the commentators just kept talking about that T Rexes used to purr, and now I feel now every time I think about it, T Rexes are act like cats. Yeah. Just tiny, tiny little arms. Mm-hmm. Oh, speaking of tiny little arms. Yeah. Well, I guess I need to face this thing. Ugh, as much as I hate to admit it, but there's not much we could do about it anyway. Um, go for the shins! Or go for the head. Whoa, boy. Uh, down, boy! Taking out its tongue is all... I want reason to kill it. Yeah. Yeah. Disgusting. I guess Haru will, Haru will like it because don't you like when your axe has blood on it? Yeah, it What's would. What's up? 
I'm just saying, like, Haru likes, likes chopping things with axes. So, like, I think she would dig having dragon's blood on her axe. Yes, more or less. Well, that's how she she does stressfully. She has like a she has like a bunch of logs on her logs in her room, and like a little thing to chop them off when she's stressed out. Wait, is this in the dancing game or something? Yeah, yes, it's in the dancing game. When you do her do her socialing, you get to learn that she has like a little balcony in her room where she cuts wood when she's stressed and she has like a little hatchet. Really? Hmm. Yes. Interesting. I've never I've never touched uh, the Persona 5 dancing game. All I, all I know of the story and I've watched a few videos of it but it's like, oh. Uh, you, you they you they, just they show the movies. rooms of the Phantom Thieves, huh? Yeah. Besides Futabas and Jokers. Yeah. You, you just watch the cutscenes you can pretty much get get while I'm actually playing it. Yeah. Uh, also, apparently she, apparently she's like really bad at technology to the point where she had a laptop and it exploded. Ah, uh, yeah, hmm. that happened too. Yeah, that would have been cool to see in an actual Persona Five game, Atlas. I mean, where was it? Where would they put, uh, put that in? I, I mean, just have her, just have her go to Portabo's room and like, whatever, like let her touch a computer oh, and explode. No, 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 no. You, you, you can't have, you can't have her do that. You no, can't have. You just can't mess with her. As soon as Portabo walks into the room and sees at least even even a speck of her super cool gaming setup ruined, she is going to go on a freaking war path. <laughs> war path against Haru. Yeah, Haru, Haru's gonna as, as as soon as that happens, Haru leaves the party for good. Yeah. So I can, I just imagine just Haru's asleep sleep, she wakes up one morning, she sees a broken hatchet in her bed, and this just has a letter to you know what you did. No, it's gonna be it's gonna be like that scene in um in like uh, I think it was the Godfather. Yes. She, she's gonna she's gonna wake up and in, in, uh, she's gonna she's gonna wake up she's gonna feel like something is wrong in her feet and she's gonna like uh then she, then she's gonna like pull over the covers and it's gonna reveal like like the the, the destroyed mangled axe and she's gonna like freaking scream and come out of her bed <laughs> and then she like goes over to Butava's house you see her from the window holding like a broken hatchet just like in the rain <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Thank you, Tava. Come out and play. But still, Futaba would basically Futaba would freaking go on the wall. <laughs> if if her if her if her gaming setup is we're gonna ruin. Oh yeah, she would be pretty mad. <laughs> yeah, she would really be mad as well. Anyway, but, but if she handle. Can, but can her hacking skills be the hatchet, though? Ah. Uh, mm, that depends on how it goes. If you can't hack a hatchet, it's, a, it's made of wood and metal. Uh, died again. Just when I was getting uh, close to taking down a dragon. Bad steppy dragon. Bad steppy dragon. And the thing that I had in my hand just exploded. Your hand just exploded. <laughs> Oof. Can't you use a shield or no? I can't even when it comes to that thing. I can only use it when I'm through that. Hey, that worked. Yeah, it did. But my HP is not going to last any longer if I get another direct hit. We'll just keep blocking then, I guess. Hope for the best. But I can't block that. No, 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 you can't. Here we 
Mr. Dragon, eat the, eat the nice, delicious bomb to make your head explode. <laughs> really? I think I'm gonna be a goner the next time I get another hit. Phew. <laughs> Could have waited for a drawer attack and then I would have done something. That would have gone in his mouth. Ugh. Well, it looks like you're safe in the corner, so you can't reach that far. Not unless I move first. Uh, no, no, no. Mm. Oh god, that was close. Yeah, but it's not over just yet. Wait for it. Now! The attacks into a thing. Jeez. Now. Yes, his head's down. <laughs> oh boy, here it comes again. No, this time I think that dragon. He's not leaving yeah, it. Going. Don't eat my boy! No, he oh. won't. Wait a minute, there's an idea. Oh, look, HP! Playing right now. I, I, I didn't know there was an airplane in the in the God of War games. Eh, whatever. Uh, hey, folks! If you look down on the ground on your left, you can see Kratos trying to slash down that dragon. Did you get angry time? That's what I'm doing. Look, oh, jeez. Oh, he can move his laser around. That that's not fun. Wait a minute. Eat this. Seriously, eat that. And that's it. Gotta wait for its timing. Flash it. <laughs> I'm hatching as much as I can, but I don't think you'll be able to get up. I think you got him. Yeah, I did. We die! Yeah! Fatality. Oh yeah, did we just kill a dragon? Oh yeah, that's yeah, cool. Let's kill, kill a dragon. Yeah, just just casually kill a dragon. It is. It's it's just like every other Tuesday, dude. To kill a dragon. Mm -hmm. Kratos killed gods. A dragon yeah. is nothing to him. But it's gonna have a hefty price on it. Yeah. <sighs> Finally.
Kratos the Dragon Slayer. Give a round of applause, everybody. Yay! <sighs> Glad this thing is not going to come back to life. And I'm pretty sure that it's dead. Don't think anything yeah, is... It's definitely dead. Anyway, I guess this is a good way to fall this apart. It's already like 15 minutes in. <laughs> Why is he got an, an item bank that carries thousands of items in there? Yeah, I think I can see that. I can. I think anyone can use something like that, especially like, hey, you want to go on an air? You want to go to the airport and like make sure you don't want to buy a rental car? You can put your car in there. Anything that you could place it. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for baggage claim. Huh. I don't think we'll be able to see this dragon again after we defeated it. Yeah. Can we take off his two? Let's try it. Right. One, two, and just the fang is all we needed. Yep. Do not let Kratos be your dentist. Nope. And you don't want your teeth to be messed up like that. Indeed. Oh, we'll see you guys next time for more God of War shenanigans. Yeah. Bye. Uh, yep. Well. Yeah. Here, take this thing and make something out of it, please. Like removing the airport scene in there? You know, just like Kratos at the airport, just... Have bring a dra dragon through baggage claim. Like, whose dragon is this? <laughs> yeah. Well, after we be able to destroy that king, I think we can call that a part. Indeed. Well, we killed a dragon. I think that's enough excitement for one day. Yes, and that's plenty enough just to go around. Kill the signs, boy. And there. Now we have a way. Alright, see you guys next time for realsies. Alright, then. Alright, bye. Bye.